Hey guys, so we are in the last video of the course on Google Summer of Code, how to get selected, how to get started. And we have discussed everything right from what GSOC is, what programming language you should use, what project to pick, what domain, how to start contributing to that project, how to submit a good proposal. We are at the end of this course and in this one, I'm going to discuss about what do you do if you aren't selected. If you aren't selected by any chance for GSOC, don't lose hope guys. There is going to be plenty other chances for you to contribute to open source. So I would say don't you lose hope. What you do is you introspect and you learn from your mistakes. You try to look into the real reasons why you didn't get selected this time. Maybe the competition was better. There were, there are only limited seats, limited number of students who can get selected. It never means you are not good. It means maybe someone else is better. You try to fi figure out what are the reasons why the people who got selected for your particular project did get selected and how can you improve upon that and make not make those mistakes again and get selected the next time or at least improve your chances of getting selected the next time the other thing is you keep contributing to that project you keep contributing to the open source world because in the end, that would be the real reward. Having a GSOC project is great in your resume, but even if you don't have that, and you have some open source experience, that's amazing too. If you can add some GitHub repos to your GitHub profile and show people that you have contributed to open source, that's good enough. In the process, you're going to learn so much from fellow contributors and experienced people. You're, you get a chance of getting your code reviewed and generally people in the open source world follow really high standards. They have a high bar as far as code quality is concerned. You get to learn about unit tests, how to use Travis CI. You get to know about documentation, maybe Doxygen or any other such framework. You get to learn a lot of things. You get to learn source control version. And any of these things will be useful when you plan to join the industry. So with these lines, I would say apply next year. Again, you have to be persistent. You have to keep trying till you can. And don't lose hope, guys, again. Just give it your best and keep trying persistence has its rewards so all the best and before I go I have a humble request to make if you liked our videos in the course please hit like in the on the videos and share it with your friends on social media on Facebook Twitter LinkedIn whichever you find uh, has a better audience subscribe to our YouTube channel Heisenberg Tech if you are interested in getting more videos from us on similar topics do leave comments with your answers queries and feedback uh, thank you for watching guys it has been a great journey to make this course and to share it with the world so that all of you can learn from my experience and whatever I have to offer thank you again and stay tuned for the next course Drop in your comments what would you like to be uh, the topic of for the next course. So thank you again guys. Stay tuned and see ya.